Hello, I'm Mrs Taylor. I'm one of your directors of learning and I know Mrs Miller, the other director of learning, is also doing a video for you. It's a nice opportunity for us to introduce ourselves to you, although I'm luckily enough I was able to pop in and meet quite a few of you in our local schools. Those of you I've not met yet, I'll get um, to see you and get to know you a bit more on the transition days. There's a few things I want to talk about. The first thing I'm going to talk about is our uniform. So our uniform is really simple, but it's super smart. And I think it's important that you wear it with pride. So all the information has gone out about what we expect you to wear, but I'll just go over the basics. And um, so it's a black uh, skirt, shorts or trousers. Then we've got a polo shirt and then a navy jumper with a school logo on it. Jewelry is really simple. It's one set of studs and a watch and that's it. Hair colour is neutral, so don't go wild over the summer break and dye your hair green for your first day back because that's not what we would like to see. And I think that's it really. They're the main things. I know on the tran after one of the transition days, our second-hand uniform stall is going to be up and running. So you can come and see what you can find there. And also Birds, one of our uniform suppliers will be there. So you can try on some of the uniform and uh, sort out the right sizes and maybe put your order in. Another thing it's worth noting and telling parents is our Facebook Facebook group, one of the parents has set up a second-hand uniform site, which is um, really, really useful. For PE, we have a sports top and you can either have shorts, skort or black leggings. Uh, in the winter, we have a jumper variation and you can wear black or navy joggers as well. We'll go through all of this when you come again but it's just nice to get your head around it again. It's super smart and when we go to fixtures it's really nice to wear and you can think yes I'm representing my school and do it with pride. When you are at Fram we've got lots of other opportunities for you and one of the most exciting things as well as trying out new uh, lessons, different subjects and meeting new people at all the different clubs that are on offer at Fram. When you get to us, we will show you something called Helper Helper, which will show you all of the different clubs and societies that go on. Most of them are at lunchtime, but there are a few after school, and they're all free and available for year sevens. So we've got things from all of the sports. So you've got your netball, football, basketball, hockey, dance club, and many more rugby. I know lots of you haven't might not have done rugby before and want to come and try something new so that's open to you as well and then you've got drama clubs you've got music clubs you've got lego club board games we have got the framula e club which is super popular where they make the car and go out and uh, test drive that and race it so there are so many clubs i've only touched on a few there the beauty of a club is you get to meet new people and obviously people with like uh, with similar interests as you and um, we don't expect you to remember them all. And we try and get a nice list for you to have in your form room. It might take you a few weeks to settle in before you want to join some of these clubs. And that's absolutely fine. You don't have to do it from day one, but it's such a great opportunity to try new things and definitely widen your friendship groups. Um, I've got a list here, so I don't forget to do things. Other things that we'd like you to have a go at when you come. Once you've settled into your form and got to meet and your four members and know them a bit better, we will ask you to choose a safe rep. And what that is basically is our school council. And we would like someone, uh, a couple of people from each form to represent that form at the whole school council meeting and share the form's opinion. So it might be, for example, your form would like to discuss the school uniform and look at uh, ways of changing it or um, you might uh, discuss that certain clubs that you would like to do or you might think um, do you know what there's not enough rubbish bins around the school etc so you will um, represent your form you get the opportunity to represent your form and feedback to the whole of the school council so we often have two reps for each form so that's something to look forward to as well just seeing what else um, another really beneficial thing that's happening for year sevens this year on your very first day at fram it will just be year sevens We've tried this for the last two years and it works brilliantly. So year sevens, you will have the chance to get to know your get to know where your form room is, get your bearings, so you know where to go at break times, at lunch times, without the other four year groups being there as well. When they do arrive, it's going to be really good because they'll be supportive and help you find your way around. But on that first day, it means that the, you've got the whole staff to help you out and help you settle in. 
So that's a real bonus and we've been doing that for the last couple of years and I think it makes a real difference to your start. We will obviously send these details out but we'll meet you in the sports hall. So your two transition days coming up, we will meet you in the sports hall for that as well and then you'll just get to know exactly where you're at and not panic. There'll be lots of people in high-vis jackets to greet you at the gates and take you to the right place. We've got so many lovely activities for you over those two days. Um, I'm sure you'll have a great time and it's a perfect opportunity for you to ask any questions, uh, for you to meet the members of your form, to meet your form tutor and just to generally get a real sense of Fram. I'm really looking forward to seeing you. I hope this uh, short video has been useful.